so much for signing up for this. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm Kathy Crow. So I'm actually a street nurse. You heard that term before? Yeah. I'm a street nurse, so it means that all my work has been in the area of homelessness um, for about 30 years. So gentrification, it's a big word. Um, it's, it's usually, usually it applies to um, people or businesses or corporations that, that come into a territory, come into a, a, an area, a community, um, buy up property and space for redevelopment, uh, primarily for financial benefit. <laughs> and, and what's in common with forms of gentrification is it pushes the original community out. So we've seen that in many places in Toronto over the years. So this is a really historic corner. Um, so in 1986, uh, uh, a woman named Drina Joubert froze to death on the back of a pickup truck. She was a South African uh, model who became, uh, you know, mentally ill and homeless. And when she was found dead by my colleague, police said, you know, keep this quiet, don't, don't do anything about this. And he said, I think not. And there's an article on Vice about that today. She had a, they had an inquest into her death and it led to something called Project 3000 which is 3,000 new units of affordable housing that the province of Ontario paid for. And that's one of them right there, that like six or seven floor building. It's called Cornerstone. So when people say, oh, it's complicated to solve this problem, it's not, right? It's, there you go, right there. And people live there that have lived there since it opened. The yellow brick buildings over there are co-ops. And I point that out because up until 1993, um, many of you will know we had a national housing program. We built 20,000 new units of affordable housing a year across the country. So that's an example right there. Because people say, whoa, this homelessness problem is so bad. Well, that's part of the reason because it got cut by the conservative and liberal federal party. In a way, what's happening right now is like a living experiment. Um, and I'm afraid that uh, while we're seeing some positive aspects, some in Regent Park with uh, the redevelopment, some social assets coming to the community, large other areas of gentrification happening are um, very detrimental uh, to the city and to city planning and to city, city growth uh, and city health. Sure.